Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Papa Smurf. So I'm going to get started in the center of my page with the eye. So let's start at the very top. I'm going to draw an oval, sort of in a slight angle. So we start at the top with a little point. From this point, I'm going to curve up and out towards the left, round out the bottom of the eye. Now I want to leave a little gap on the inside. So I'm just going to come up to right about there. From this point, I need to blend into the nose. So from this point, I'm going to start by curving up and out towards the right to right about here. From here, I want to round out the nose and then come down just underneath the eye and over towards the left. So let's round out the tip of the nose. Do a big curve coming down underneath the eye, going up. Now this is going to blend it in with the beard. So let's curve and hook this over and then down. From here, we want to draw in the back side of the eye. So right up here, we're going to draw another oval, curving up. And we're going to tuck this in behind the nose. Now we're going to draw in the pupils, just shift it over towards the left. So let's start on this side here. We're going to draw an oval, just touching the bottom of the eye, and then back up to the top. We're going to fill that in black. Now I'm going to draw another oval on the inside, just above the nose. Right in the center here, we're going to curve up, and then pull that down. We're going to fill that in black as well. Now just above the eyes, I want to draw in some thick eyebrows. So on top of the left eye, I'm going to draw a curve. It's going across like this. Now I'm going to connect those two points with another curve, but I'm going to go a little higher in this top and then curve it back down. Let's do the opposite on the right side. So just up here, we're going to curve around and then down. We're going to connect those two points with another curve going up and then back down. I want to layer the edge of the hat just in behind the eyebrows. So we're going to start from the left eye. We're going to step over and draw a point. From this point, I'm going to curve in behind the eyebrows and then down in behind the nose. So let's start at this point, go right in towards the eyebrow. In between, we're just going to bridge a curve going across. And then on the right side of this eyebrow, we'll just curve down on top of the nose. From this point, I'm going to step up and just draw a curve coming down on top of the mustache, just right beside the eye. Now just below the edge of the mustache, we're going to step down and draw in the mouth. So I'm going to start with a curve from left to right, coming down and then back up. On this side here, I just want to draw a little bracket for the edge of the mouth. Now below the edge of the mouth, we're going to draw a little curve, almost like a half circle for the bottom of the mouth. I'm just going to pull that back up. And we're going to step over towards the left side, curve down and out towards the right for the tongue. We're going to fill this area in black. From this point, I want to draw in the large beard. So it's almost like a large oval shape, but there's these little points along the way. So let's start on the left side here. We're going to curve out and then pull that down. I'm going to make my way around towards the bottom of the chin, just down here. From this point, I'm going to curve it back up. Now I'm going to curve down, sort of aiming towards my finger, coming down like that. We're going to hook that back up again. We'll do one more. We're going to curve down and then right towards my finger. And then we're going to hook that back up for one point. Now from here, I just want to draw the center just below the mouth here. So curving down towards the middle. Now on the right side, we're going to have to flip these points over in the opposite direction. So we're going to start just beside the nose here. We're going to curve out and then pull that down. We're going to hook that back up. Again, we're going to make our way down towards the center point here. Got another curve going out, pulling that in. We'll hook that back. Again, we're just aiming towards this point. These short little curves go across, pull that back in. We're going to draw a curve that goes right into that center point. So we're just going to blend these in towards the bottom. On the side of the head, we're going to add the top edge of the ear. From this little point here, we're going to draw almost like a half circle going out, and I'll tuck that in behind the beard. In the inside, I'm just going to draw a little hook along the top for the inner part of the ear. Now here, we're going to draw in the top of the hat, so it kind of flops over the top this way. So on the side of the ear here, we're going to curve up towards the top and over. Start on the left side, going around. Now we're just going to pull this down. From here, we're going to curve around and then back up. So this is going to be just above the eyebrows. So blend this into a curve, coming down, and then we'll pull that back up. Now before I attach this to the head, I want to draw the edge of the hat. So stepping up from the eyebrow, I'm just going to follow that same curve, going around and then down on top of the nose. And then in between here, I'm just going to draw a little curve just to connect them. On the right side of the mouth, I just want to draw another curve like this, just to accentuate the mustache. So we're just going to curve it down and around. 
Okay, so now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna have the arms just on the hips. So let's start with the left side with this arm. So just below the beard, I'm gonna curve down and out towards the left. From this point, I'm gonna step up to create an overlap. I'm gonna curve in, down. Now we're gonna loop around the first finger. I'm gonna go up and then hook that back down, almost like a little loop. From that point, I'm gonna step up and just draw another curve coming in. Let's stack the fingers over towards the left. So at the bottom of this finger, I'm gonna go out, up to the top of the finger and then pull it back down. I'm gonna do that one more time. At the bottom of this finger, I'm gonna go out, loop it around and then back in behind that finger. Now in the top here, we're gonna draw a little half oval, starting at the top of the last finger. This is for the thumb. It's gonna tuck in behind the first finger. Now we can draw in the outer part of the arm. So from the top of the thumb, I'm gonna curve up and out towards the elbow. We're gonna curve in behind the beard, just like with the same curve here. I'm just gonna follow that same path going in behind. You'll probably see a little bit in between the little point of the beard. Now that we have that arm, we can tuck the body in behind. So about halfway along this curve, curve down and in, and then back out behind that hand. We're gonna step over and draw in the belly. So just behind the beard here, we're pop out the belly, come down about the same height as the hand, and then just pull that across. Now we take this arm and flip it around and just tuck it in behind the body here. So you're only gonna see the elbow and just part of the hand. So let's start on the side here. We're gonna curve out towards the elbow and then we're gonna pull that back in behind the body. Now right down here, you're just gonna see a little bit of the finger. So like a little half circle going around. And then about halfway, we're just gonna draw a little hook. Now in the body area here, just at the bottom, we're gonna draw a curve. From left to right, coming down, and then back up for the edge of the pants. Let's go back to the left side and draw in this leg. So from this inner part of the leg, we're gonna step up, and curve out, and then down. We're gonna step over and draw that same curve. So just underneath the hand, let's draw the same curve to the same height. Now we're gonna tuck the foot in behind the, the leg here. So it's almost like a large oval. Starting from this point, we're gonna step up, curve around the heel, go towards the toe. Now we're gonna pull that in behind the outside of the leg. We're gonna take that and flip it over on the right side. So let's start with the curve of the inner leg first. We're gonna step over to right here, curving out towards the right, and then down. We're gonna step out, draw on the outside part of the leg, and then down. Now we're gonna draw another large oval for the foot. So starting from the inside of the leg, we're gonna step up, curving in, round out the foot, and then tuck that in behind the leg. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Papa Smurf from the Smurfs. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.